how did the band come together? I mean, were you, were you all friends first? Well, uh, as I said, Dave and I were, had been friends for many years, but uh, uh, yeah, finding anybody else to play uh, what we wanted to play was very difficult, and I don't remember how long it took, but uh, we eventually were, we used to hang out in, in uh, guitar shops. <laughs> uh, there was a place called The Horn Shop, uh, bought a lot of bases there. Uh, uh, but anyway, one day we were in Clausen's Music, and uh, they had a bulletin board there that you could put, you know, ads for players. And there was an ad uh, punk band, basically punk band seeks uh, bass player. So we're like, huh, well that's interesting. I wonder if they need a guitar player. Uh, so we called them up. And it was these two guys that were living in Kingsville at the time. Uh, Bob Wolf, who was uh, played synthesizer, and uh, Rich Smith, who was a uh, drummer. And uh, they kind of had a little duo thing going, uh, but they wanted to expand. They were kind of, uh, they kind of reminded me of uh, uh, early Devo, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, but anyway, so they wanted to get it more into a band situation. And, and uh, so, you know, it fit perfectly. We, uh, we hooked up uh, over at Bob's, uh, parents' house. Uh, he was uh, he was a couple years younger than uh, Dave and I, and Rich was uh, maybe another year younger than Bob. But uh, and I'm pretty sure, uh, I know for sure that Rich was still in high school. But uh, anyway, we, we set up in the front room of uh, Bob's parents' house and uh, and uh, I think we, we showed them a couple songs, and they showed us a couple songs, and and I think we each knew a couple of Ramon songs and some Pistols tunes, and and uh, that was uh, that was it, and uh, that's how we got together. And when was that exactly? That was I my guess is probably late '78 is uh, my guess uh, as far as. Uh, Anything finer than that, I, I, I can't recall. That was a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, uh, I would say late 78. And so how long before you guys started actually writing your own material? Well, uh, like I said, we, we, even that first day, we, we worked on a few songs that, we, that Dave and I had, and we worked on a few songs that Rich and Bob had. And, but, yeah, we started uh, pretty much right away. Because um, I remember... Bob had a couple songs. He wrote a lot of the lyrics, uh, which worked out good because he was our lead singer. But uh, uh, yeah, right away we, we we were working on original stuff and uh, stuff, and we got uh, yeah we got to where we had uh, I don't know probably uh, probably thirty songs maybe towards uh, towards the end of things. Well, so when did you guys actually first book a gig in Corpus? You know what we did a lot of we in Corpus, we uh, we started uh, by doing a lot of Battle of the Bands, and because uh, that was an easy way to get in, and you you know you didn't have to play all night uh, at it like at a club because we didn't have enough tunes at the time uh, when we first started. But we did a lot of Battle of the Bands at first, and. Uh, uh, those usually, uh, I think that's where we got our reputation as uh, being uh, uh, maybe nonconformist <laughs> is the word. Uh, because, you know, especially at these Battle of the Bands things, you're going to have these guys that are, you know, that are really good uh, players and. Uh, uh, you know, want to show off and, and stuff, and not that we weren't, I mean, we got to where we, 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 were, we could, we were decent, but, uh, uh, especially Dave was very good for but, but anyway, um, so yeah, so we would go up and we would do our, you know, two minute, uh, you know, one minute, three minute songs, and, uh, you know, 
know, just have fun and 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 then you know with uh, contrasting against the rest of the bands who did their real long uh, you know two guitar solo songs and you know uh, uh, you know <laughs> special effects <laughs> and uh, things going off and you know long real long hair and stuff and so you know it's a real obvious contrast and and I don't know what the problem was but we quickly developed a reputation of. Uh, uh, not fitting in, I guess is the word. <laughs> well, so what was the reaction like from the fans? Uh, it was uh, 99% negative. Uh, one of the first songs we wrote was uh, called, uh, originally we were called uh, Stiff or The Stiffs, and uh, one, of the, one of our first songs was called The Stiff Song. <laughs> And uh, it was just kind of a autobiographical song, I guess, just about the band, and uh, I guess. Uh, we had uh, another one uh, called Antisocial, which was uh, a great song. I, I didn't have anything to do with the writing, so I can say that. Uh, I think that one was all Bob. Uh, let's see, uh, we had a song called Going Nowhere Fast. Which, uh, which I wrote, and I, we usually brought that in right under a minute, um, uh, but it had a, had a whole page full of lyrics, so it was, uh, it was <laughs> sometimes tough to get that one all, all in, but uh, played at a pretty uh, good clip. But uh, yeah, we had lots of good songs. Uh, I, lack, uh, I Lack Respect, uh, but, yeah, so anyway, yeah. And uh, so did you record any of these songs? Yeah, we had uh, uh, connections to a studio in Kingsville. Um, and uh, we, did, uh, we did a lot of recording there. Um, there's actually video footage uh, shot in there. At, 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 uh, well, film footage. Uh, <clears throat> that I can recall viewing, but I haven't seen it in a long time. But uh, yeah, we did a lot of uh, recording at this uh, studio in Kingsville. Um, I believe we did some in Corpus. Uh, there was a, a we ended up rehearsing at a guy's uh, place. Uh, uh, he uh, was a sound rental place. Uh, it's called CJ Sound, and uh, Jerry Colnero uh, ran that. And uh, he, uh, in fact, saw us at a a uh, gig in uh, Moravian Hall and he was one of the few people who would uh, say nice things afterwards and, but anyway after Jerry saw us he offered us uh, a space in his uh, in his shop so we got to uh, we got to uh, rehearse there and we did we did some recordings there as well.